Okay, hold up. <coughs> All right, hold on. Okay, we ready? Turn me up in the left. Turn All me right. up in the left. <laughs> ready? ready? I'm yeah. Dead. <laughs> All right. All right. What's good, Petty Verse? It's your boy Sleep. What's up, y'all? It's Greg. Tanya. Domo. Moderator. Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Anyway. laughs> didn't even so. Get the video he didn't have to go. So we just let him stay. He didn't start wow. the video, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Welcome. Anyway, He's here now. Nah. Welcome to a special <laughs> edition. Nah, special edition of the Petty House. You'll get these every so often. I don't worry. <laughs> 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 every so often. No set date yet. All right. So we can start with uh, old school music. Old we can school, go down. New school need to learn, though. 2000 and down for everybody out there watching. 2000 right. and down is what we're classifying as. All right, so we're doing 2000 and down. Music, today's songs. episode yes. dedicated to music. For today's, yeah, so today's the, episode, which is dedicated to music. So, old music. Do any of you have a favorite song or favorite artist from 2000s and on down? One. Fab and Tamiya. Absolutely. That's a whole fact. Mm. Tevin Campbell can we Fab and Tamia. Okay, wait, but So Into You. What's the song? So Into You. By Fab and Tamia. Okay. And why I is that fight. your favorite song? What? Because that shit is fire like that. Uh, that yeah. <laughs> well, I personally <laughs> I mean honestly both that's, versions that's both versions were really good. Tamia's yeah, version is super. Yeah, it's super. cool, but I like the Fab and Tamia one better. So fat, I can't even argue with you. Like, uh, the original is super dope too. Yeah, it's cool. Definitely dope. It's cool. What you got, Clay? Um, Tevin Campbell, can we talk? Lit. Oh, That's a lit record. situation Who right there. That? Okay. Shout out, shout out he did. Me, I played it. No, she did. No, I played it. He did. She did. I'm sorry. You saw I did. Wow. I played it. I played it. She did. I did. It's a fire record. So that's why I want to know why he That's a fire record. So, yeah. And that's why Tevin Campbell. <laughs> why you so starting shit? Why did he pick a <laughs> great fucking vocalist? He is. One of the greatest of all time. Can you pick your own song? about to slur his words. Can you pick your own song? No. That was the song, no, Tevin Campbell. No, 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 no. No, but she sang that's his favorite song. That night he picked it? No, no, I picked it. Oh, yeah, right. He's picking it for right now. No, but I'm saying that. She already picked it that night. <laughs> nah, he can pick it for now. That's not my song but for the night. Anyway, <laughs> we're moving along. Tell me what you want me to do is one, also one of my favorite She songs. said one song, no? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Welcome to the Petty House. If we could pick more than one, I'm not right. even gonna hold you. So I was gonna pick two, so. So many. Oh, so, not so nobody was gonna follow the rules. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm sorry. Right. So nobody was gonna follow I the rules. I don't do that. It's on me right now. Tell okay, me. so it's we're gonna you. limit. You said, you said your song, Seven Campbell, right? But you just said it was right. my song. All right, no, 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 no. Okay, this is what we'll do. We're gonna limit the 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 the, the segment to two songs max, right. or two artists, two so songs or two, two artists, and you can mix and match, but it has to be two. That's can it. Can we talk in? What was, it was, it was can we talk in? Also, um, "Unbreak My Heart" by Tony Braxton. Definitely two solid songs. Yeah. So solid. It comes back to me. Yeah, I didn't say I mean, mine. Yeah, yeah, what's your, what's your, your second? <laughs> what's your second, second one? What's your what's second, your second song? What? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Because you can. You good? Welcome to the I can house. handle myself, but. um, Can you play? Oh, Lord. <laughs> but moving along. Go ahead, Lamar. What's your second? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you have to look it up. I do because because I got a um. Can we also say album. It's a song that was. It's, it's a, oh, I can't think of the name of the song now. Who who sings it? It was in the movie with a uh, Holly Berry and uh, she she was like a maid or something to like the rich guy. Baps. Yeah, I think the song was that. Oh, oh. sing it. Oh. But who's who's like Baps had a soundtrack. Um, Damn, Baps had a soundtrack. I think it was in that movie. The artist. I don't know. Don't give me the lion. Oh, no. We might have to. Oh, <coughs> you called and told me. Okay. That's what it's called. So who? Jeff Red. Yes. Jeff. You called and told right. me. That's my shit. You wanted right. to leave. That is my shit. But it Solid seems right. that you are. I don't what know what you're talking about. What are your Okay, are we going? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wait, All right. Dom, what <laughs> are you going to get her two out? Dom. <laughs> that's my shit. Yo, I hit. What? Yeah, that song is lit. My two artists. Solid. <laughs> It's probably gonna be Marvin Gaye and Aaliyah. Okay. Okay. And then choice. the Shout song Aaliyah. choice, I played it the first time, you know, that night, which is here and now. It's a great song. Bye. Luther. 
I mean, some people. Loofah. Yeah, right. Some people. Yeah, you, 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 big loofah. We giving out the gems <coughs> yes. right now. You know everybody not up on it. So. Right. Loofah. Certain people don't know. You know That's my go-to they, they song. They about putting her whole discography. discography yes. They need to shout go ahead and do that Leo. now. Like the fuck? I mean, definitely shout out to Leah. I think her discography should have been available Damn. to the fans. Well, I have a quick question. Because when she passed away, um, God bless her soul. That music video, her last one, um, rock the boat. Rock the boat. No, no the other no. one. More uh, than was a it woman. Um, miss you. Was it? Miss was you? it miss you? No, her last video she, that she shot. The one that she died on was rock, rock the, the boat. boat. No, but there was, a, but she knows the one I'm talking about. Was she's like yes, all white? You. Yeah, was right. It Oh, was it Miss You? She was not in Miss You. She no, Miss You was, was a, a Miss You was a compilation of people. Was that one in Miss? Which one are you talking? About? No, that was more oh, than a woman. That about? was more. That was more than. Yes, dude. The suit. I can't like a cat. Yes, do, 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 I just said it was more Wait. than a woman. Wait, hold on. Bring it on down. How many times I'm gonna say that's the soul? Lamar, what are you talking about? It's definitely more than a woman. It's it's that video. More than a woman. They said that that video that she didn't finish that like somebody else finished it for her like a double. Is that true? Nah, that was nah, that was her. Okay. She finished all of them except for Miss You. Miss You was done by as a tribute video to her. Because that's because growing up that like you know that's that's good. No, Rock the Boat was her last video though. That's just what I wanted to know. So yeah. Um, yeah, she was ahead of her time. She would have been the Beyonce. Shout out to Aaliyah. Had she not have died. All right, let's uh, uh, let's, uh, let's, all right, let's not so start a fight. Let's, not, let's, let's, let's not try start to do a fight. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta finish this. <laughs> so as far as um, my favorite old school song, that would definitely have to be Bobby Womax. If you think you're lonely now, because oh, your man's went ham on that song. <laughs> Until tonight, do, 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 do. oh my goodness, you'll be wrong, girl. Yes, Bobby Womack. If you think you're lonely now, <laughs> it's classic. It's a motherfucking and my, classic. And uh, my second song, it would probably have to be. I don't know. I, I kind of like so many different songs. It's got time to yeah, it's hard. to it's to. I would say, so artists, I would say for the song, I would go with Bobby Womack's If You Think You're Lonely Now. Mm-hmm. As far as my favorite old school artists. That's too many of them. That's Ooh, I'm, I'm still going to have to go with Michael Jackson on that one. Yes. Um, I would have to say, I can I can play a, a lot of Michael Jackson albums from start to finish and I'll be lit. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with Michael as my favorite old school artist. Can we- Definitely. Shout out to Michael. Mm-hmm. I did want to get into his video, but. I guess we can save for another episode. Which I mean, we can do videos. Go ahead. Video? The video. Um, Which one? The whole where he's wearing gold and Eddie Murphy's. Oh, do you remember, oh, do you remember the time? Remember the time? That he stole his wife? Best. Yeah. Right. That was one of the best <laughs> videos. Petty ass video. Yo. That is a petty you know what? video. Petty. It was a but who's petty gonna, ass video. But who's going to challenge him? Who's exactly. going to challenge Mike? I'm Michael. just saying, Mike, you ain't have to do that. Was you ain't have to come in that man's <laughs> living room <laughs> right. and the turn into gold <laughs> dust and take his bitch with you. Michael. You ain't have to do that. They had history. They had history. Exactly. Michael was one of the artists Thought there was one specific one dimensional artist. Yeah, I mean, I Take his mic. Ooh. Who said that? Who? Who man's is this? That's your man's. You sitting closest to him. Who brought him? What I'm saying is that a lot of people in the media had Michael Jackson as one dimensional artist. Nobody, nobody. Who the fuck says that? I'm not saying you guys. What media? Nah, I've never heard that. Right. Because you guys didn't really hear about what about us and didn't hear about. No, but I don't. I've never heard anybody say that Michael Jackson was ever one dimensional. Right. right. Like Michael was killing it on all right. levels, of course everywhere. Was, but a lot of people didn't want to give him his due as well. Who? But you said well, people are saying that he's one dimensional. You know, Who said that? We Welcome to the petty house. Michael Welcome to the petty house. Is he was petty in that goddamn video. Hold though. on. <laughs> like. <laughs> if so I remember, wait, that's so petty. Hall of Fame worthy. Sleep was making a whole point over here. Facts. And. <laughs> Homeboy jumped in, so oh, welcome to the petty. House. <laughs> so we just gonna do on t- house. Nah, but what was you saying, Clay? You said that people thought he was one dimensional. A lot of people thought that Michael Jackson was like this this mm. pop artist who just came out of like you know a he's group. A pop icon. He's definitely and a pop artist. He's, in, and he's just doing this icon. stuff as like okay, he can dance, cool, whatever. 
And but Mike can sing. Mike, Mike could sing. He could sing. He could sing and dance. And hold the note. Mm. Can, hold can some of your faves do that? Dance. Is the question. Is that the question? But we'll but we'll get into that. Exactly. We'll get into that. What I'm saying, as far as what I'm talking about, as far as him being one dimensional, a lot of people didn't want to give him credit because let's keep it real. He was black and he was killing at the time, and a lot of people like Elvis Presley, who took his art, and a lot of people said, "Oh, Elvis Presley, he got a lot of soul. What happened to Michael Jackson's soul? Why wasn't he soul? Why was he?" Were they around at the same time? When technically, Michael Jackson was giving us soul as well. So what I'm saying is, yes, Michael Jackson was pop, king of pop, but he was also a person of soul as well, and he should get credit as both. Shout out to Jose Cuervo. <laughs> That's, what I'm That's a fact. Okay, Yo, so anyway. Greg, who who, who yeah. you got? Okay, um, wow. Um, so all right, so I can't really do songs because it's just it's too it's too many. So my first, I gotta stop. give it up to Prince. The Prince, one. you can't. Solid, solid. I, I wanna be. A Listen, Prince has so many. Oh, he did that do, shit that Lizzo does. He has do, so many do, do, hits. The purple suit. He has so purple many hits, rain. so many like purple I love so many of his hits. I still listen to. Oh no, it was a yellow suit. It was yellow, yeah, with his yeah. ass. With the ass out. Yeah. So he has mm. so many. So hits. was that her, mm. that was that her inspiration? Yeah, we we'll come back. We'll to come that. back to that. We'll revisit she that. Said was on the next episode, we'll of revisit. Episode. We'll revisit that <laughs> at, a, at another level. Right. But yeah, right. Prince. Right. Prince but. to this day, I still listen to him heavy. I think he has so many hits from rock to pop to R and B to soul to funk. Like he. He wasn't. He was what I think is an artist, like, like an art. Like he took his shit off the damn. He was like, no, I'm not doing this. Like I'm not Prince. I'm the artist. Like he had a fucking sign. Like he, he has a symbol for yes, his a name. symbol. Like he Prince is what the I think is known. is <laughs> As an epitome of what a real artist is. He cares about his music. He wrote it. He he lived, breathed it. He didn't do it for the fame. He didn't do it for the money. He didn't do it for, for none mans, of that. My man's wouldn't do a feature with you if you didn't own your. Facts. Like he owned all his shit. Like yeah. Prince was that he was that dude. He was that guy. So I would give it up to Prince. Y'all already know I love Mariah. Prince so Mariah. that's that. And you know who he heavy close on to? Her. Facts. That's Facts. right. Facts. So go listen to that album. Facts. Ooh. Well, attacked. You were. But shout out to Prince. Yeah, that was a he heavy close on to heavy. I mean y'all already know I love Mariah, so that's Mariah cool. Okay. Our, um, <laughs> Our, um. <laughs> <laughs> so we going with 2000 and up. Yeah, first we doing old school. We did old school. Old school. Oh, that is the old school. oh, I My think I gave you a two. 2000 and down. Like, like I think I gave you like like one 2000. He was coming back one, to you. Not, uh, My one, old school. Like two, no. mm-hmm. Marvin Gaye. I want you. Oh, okay. Mm. That's my shit. Yes. That's me. That's right. You damn right. You <laughs> 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 get right. pregnant. Nice. Pull out. <laughs> I mean, don't put that in the air. <laughs> <laughs> like, now, what the fuck? <laughs> my new what the school fuck? as per. No, not Wait, like, yet. no, no, no. Not we do. So you did. You did your old school. Oh, so yeah, definitely like Marvin Gaye. I want you. You know what I mean? All right, Lamar. Your new school. Two thousand up. I did Fab and Tamia. Uh-huh. So what's your old so school? Got another one? My old school was the Jeff Rudd. Oh, okay, right. so. Copy. So you could. So oh, I did. Okay. So I just did one of each. So you don't want another one? So you, um, just favorite like or most just, a, recent? Or just a good song that I like. Song so you could just pick artist. it. One you artist. Could, so just to, to make it less complicated, let's just stick with songs. So a song okay, from, yeah. so a song from two thousand and up um, that you really really like. Another song that I really really like. It could be rapping or singing. Um, Damn, look at my phone. It's mm-hmm. so many. Like, so, that's why I feel like that's a lot. So I think we gotta. The one that I, the one that just popped in my head because I was thinking of the show Atlanta, um, was um, what's her name? I think it's called Encore. I forgot her name though. Charlotte. Boom. Charlotte. Yeah. Encore. Yeah. Encore. I'm unfamiliar. Mm-hmm. And encore. Yeah. Your love. Oh, that show. Oh, no, he said the show. Good love, Jesus and Encore. Going to a show tonight (laughs) after working hard. Nine to five. Not talking about a movie, no. No, no. They got a 
gotta go on that side. <laughs> all right, no, all right, go ahead. I gotta go on that side. Yeah. So what's your? Oh wait, and no, one more uh, current. Right. Another current would be. I would say Mace and no, but that's not like Mace. it. Got it. Got to be two thousand and up. Two thousand and up. Uh, Welcome back to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go around the table. Because I was gonna say Mace in total. Your new school record. Um, well, no, that's not I'm throwing right now. It's um, Armani. Mm-hmm. Um, she came. Um, to a group that was called Fit Harmony. We're not doing two thousand. No, two thousand and up. Two thousand and up. Oh. She, um, she came to a group that was called Fifth Harmony. Um, she got a lot of racist um, trolls that you know went on Twitter and told her like you know put out pointless stuff about her like putting out her being photoshopped to her people being lynched and being just racist and disgusting to her because she's dark skin. And what's one of her rankings, B? Um, one of her records is motivation. motivation. She has a song out with Sam Smith called "Dancing with the Stranger," which is also look out for that. I mean, it's been on the radio all throughout the whole year. This song with Khalid, Khalid, Khalid too. Khalid. Is That's called his name. Love Lies. Okay. But, um, okay. She's a dope artist. Like she got record. through a lot of stuff. I do like Love Lies. Isn't that with um Khalid? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I relate to her more because I feel like her, as far as like her artistry. She is very positive. She's very, she's not in the media and saying like, you know, like I'm going to do this so I can get attention. I'm going to do this, that, and the third so I can get attention to this, promoting this music that I have. I just want to display my talent for the world and it is what it is. If you're going to relate to it, then you're going to relate to it. And I feel like that's so, that's what we need in black music right now. We need more artists that are so just, trying to inspire a younger generation to do more with themselves like we need more art black artists to try to venture out into whatever the fuck they want to do in music if you want to be a country artist you want to be a pop musician you want to be a rapper then that's on you that's do what you got to do to do what you got to do in this music business and that's why i fuck with her on this type of level and i hope she gets to whatever she wants to do in music Okay. My new school record. <clears throat> my new school record. Damn, two thousand and up. My new school record. Damn, I really gotta think about that. My new school record, two thousand and up. That's hard. Uh, That's yeah. nineteen because years because, in. Because the record I have in mind, I'm in. not even sure if it came out before two thousand. Mm-hmm. And that's um. Rough Riders Down Bottom. <laughs> Rough Riders. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about EVE. Yeah. So, <laughs> so shout out to EVE. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that record came out before 2000. That's a hard record. And that was Scarface, Snoop, Drag On. Kiss Where is on Drag record. On? He's around. He's around. He's, he's, de- he's, he's definitely okay. around. <laughs> um, damn, a 2000 record. 2000 and up. Mm. That's hard. I gotta go. Mm, God damn. I'm really stumped. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you. I'm stumped. I'm really stumped. You know what? No, that was no, that was in ninety. I was about to go Jay Z and Maya. That that was That's, that was yeah. two thousand. Shit. Oh, Jay Z and Maya. Facts. I mean, That's I like both the, versions of that, that song. Was, that was what? That was my shit. Yes. Five, Yo, three, two, two, one. One. <laughs> Kevin Long. Carolina hmm. Blue Kicks, hottest nigger on a block, hmm. Houston Willie Bicycle since I was six. Okay, hard record, hard record. Jay Z on the mic. It's the it barbecue record <laughs> right there. Facts. You got barbecue records? I think, yeah, I definitely got barbecue yeah. records, but we might have to hit that one on the yeah, after this one. Right. Wait, uh, well, oh, I thought what we did all you? Went. No? no? No, me and Greg no. didn't go yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't go either. All right, so if we do an artist of the 2000s. <laughs> If I'm going to go in 2000, since I'm an R&B head, somebody who I really who I really like, and I think it's dope, and I can't wait for her next project, I like SZA. I think 
I like Sean her. We're gonna be waiting for quite some time. We're gonna be waiting, but I like I like her vibe. I think the Spend control album. The I think that album. She just needs some dick. That was good. I think that was. Oh a boy! Really Welcome to the Petty House. Right? Super Petty. Um, I think that whole. <laughs> she just needs some love. I think that album. That's, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> was that's what she said. But I that's what I she think said. She, she said, said she needs some dick. Walker? That's no, Summer Walker. I said she, she needed some love. I don't think SZA said that. She said she said did say that. I don't think she said that. Petty verse. I just need some love. I just need. That's Summer Walker. That's Summer Walker. Wow. My bad. Summer Walker said she needed a hug. That thought it was SZA. So back to SZA. Although Summer Walker does sound like SZA, not someone with Chris Brown. I think I think SZA's dope. I think her album is dope. So her next her next situation. And if we're gonna go two thousands, I gotta give it up to Drake. I think what he what he's done after being fucking Jimmy from fucking Degrassi to, to what he is Shout now. out to Grassy. <laughs> Shout out to Grassy. Drake the 2000s artist? Yes. Absolutely. He came out in 2009. 2009, 2008. Okay, so he made the cusp. He definitely he made, made the cusp. I think, he's, I, think, I think what he's what he's done with yeah. his career from young from Degrassi to Young Money to what he's doing now, he's mm-hmm. the fucking, he's the artist of the goddamn decade. Like, Baby, yeah. he, he ruled the charts. That's so. what Spotify, Spotify we, named We don't have the it? time. I think he's definitely solidifying <laughs> his yeah, name to be where, the artist like, of the decade. where like like Jay-Z's name that. is. Not, I would, I would replacing him, but like oh, yeah. in that category. I would, I would give that to him. Artist the artist of the decade. Easily. Um, yeah, Beyonce's been around okay. since the 90s. Right. So as far as, as far as me okay, for the, the for the two the <laughs> okay, <go ahead. laughs> for the 2000s and up, I would have to pick two two songs that kind of stood out for me in 2000s. First, I'm have to start with first. I'm a huge fan, but I have to start with Beyonce. Her Dangerously in Love album was super lit, and I would probably have to go with Me Myself and I. That song was kind of turned back for the 2000s. That I think it came out like 03, 04 around there. And for my second song that was kind of like turnt for 2000s was Usher's Confessions. It was like mm. that whole, first of all, the whole album was turnt, but the Confessions song itself was yeah. lit. Mm-hmm. So those would be my two favorite songs from the 2000s, the early to the, you know, just 2000 period. Those two were really good. I agree. I agree. Confessions is a fire album. Fire. Shout out to Usher. Ooh. I love Usher. That was a great video. Mm, I do. For the longest time, my girl was Fantasia. Mm. Yeah. From yeah. American Idol. Made her from American I called Idol. In, yeah. I called in to vote for her. All you that literally show. called in to vote for Fantasia? American yes. Idol. That was it. I, I, don't, I never voted for any of those things. Truth when is, was that song from yes. Mad Long. Oh, yeah. So true. Is. Is. No, what was she that song she had? If you don't voice. want me, then don't talk to me. Right. Free yourself. Go, Free that yourself. was my song. That was my favorite Free Fantasia yourself. song. Free, because get, get the fuck on. Right. If you yeah, don't want me, then talk to me. Then talk to me. Like, it was real simple. Go and ahead. She, and she had a nice little harmony on that. So, yeah, I could definitely agree with you on that one. Yes. Definitely can agree with that. More recent is probably going to be between. Summer Walker and her. I would kind of go with her. I feel like they're both too different. Like they're R and B, really yeah, good R and B. But it, yeah, I feel like like her. I like think her is a bit more rounded. She's yeah. more R&B. as an she artist, R and B and more like soul. Right. Like I agree. Centric. And right, yeah. Summer Walker's and her songs like, are longer than like two point like five R&B. seconds. Yeah, she's a little more hip hop. Summer Walker's yeah. songs was over in like. I Two like seconds in my easier opinion. on the air. Summer mm. Walker, I would get. They still sound good. She don't have like long. She doesn't songs. need all the extra. She just cuts no. to, straight to the point. Hard place. That. Yes, baby. That song. That song. Is so good. speaking of really. of that, she doesn't actually have an album. Who, out. What artist do you feel is the most slept on? Oh, it, and it could be an artist from any time that you feel time we got love. It, but it's but it's we gotta just try to limit it to one one artist that you think is slept Fab. on, and it could be from any generation. What you just said? feel that like they didn't Fab. just that they didn't oh, get God. there just to like in, in any capacity. But we'll we'll go around. I'll we'll start with time. with Lamar. I'll say Fab. I definitely. Think and why do you feel that? Way? Fab is yes, I think he's underrated. And why? Because I don't feel like he gets. Like, the recognition that he deserves. That's for one. I don't think he's ever been. Has he ever been nominated for a Grammy? 
I mean, isn't is Grammy? But a Grammy is a whole different topic. We could. I, def- <laughs> I definitely feel like. More concerned with a group of white. I feel like he hasn't men. won awards that he should have won. I definitely feel like he's should be one of the top. But I feel like he doesn't get the recognition but, that but he deserves. All right. <laughs> All right. What do you think about? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The top what though, Lamar? Oh, I Lord. feel Here like he should be like. Here we go. Uh, recognize like like a like nice. as as top musician, top producer. Yes, like a top musician, top okay. lyricist. But why do you feel that way though? Because he is. So what do you think? Um, <laughs> wait, wait. So y'all, oh, y'all feel like you know, he's. I, 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 I honestly. Too, I was moving like, on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, but I, that, but that's what I'm asking. Do y'all but feel I like agree, he's? I agree with Lamar because I feel like as far as Fab- Fabulous goes, I feel like his bars are one of the best as far as in the music industry as far as rappers go. Definitely, his wordplay is crazy. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Like, boom, you know what boom, I mean? Like, boom, boom. One to the two to the three. Like, you know, oh. like, it's so. He's remember- talking about breathe. Right, so exactly. y- y'all feel like he's that right where he so should be. Memorable to me. It's like yes. Yeah. Not a lot of rappers can I don't, I don't, give I don't bars like think, that. I don't I, think. I, I think no, Fab I gets recognition. Yeah. I don't, I don't think, think he gets as much. But as Fab he is should. not a Jay Z. I, I definitely do. I definitely do. I don't think he's underrated. I think Fab is held in in his place in in hip hop where he should be. I know. I think he made himself comfortable when he's a when he had the opportunity. He didn't necessarily seize the opportunity to say, "Rap is mine right now," or "The city is mine right now." Like, mm-hmm. yeah, Fab I don't think Fab dropped. ever had that moment. Nah, Mm-mm. but that's the thing. No, no, no. I feel like he definitely should have had that is, moment. All right, but what I'm saying is make this, when nobody was dropping, right? Who, when, he was he was out when Jay Z was out, so there was nobody always was dropping. Jay Z, Jay took 50, his hiatus. That's ja, what I'm saying. Jay took his ja hiatus. So, son. so the throne or. The city or went to fifty cent. Well, Ja Rule and then fifty cent. Never mind all of that because But that's what I'm saying. That when there was a, that hiatus but, from Jay, fifty had it. Right. But what I'm saying is we were saying fifty was hot. We wasn't saying fifty's no. on his way to be one of the greats. Fab was already out. Fab had already put out He came out after many, a, after uh Jay Z. No, Fab Fab was here. No, I'm talking about 50 doing his thing. Fab was the, already here. Yeah, right? he was already so here. So when Jay, Jay took his hiatus, Fab didn't 50, seize no, the opportunity. 50 was already there. I get what you're saying. 50 was already hot, popping like fish grease. No, I feel like... We get that. Right, go popping what I'm like saying fish is, grease. Huh? Yeah, he didn't... It wasn't a moment that Fab seized. Right, he didn't seize was that like, moment. And was like, we just... Over like, here if is you're Fab. already here, right? Because, listen, if you're already here in position... And you don't say it's all or nothing, then this is how a fifty cent or anybody for that matter who's hungry and up and coming just uh surpasses you and says, I'm stamping my flag right here, the city is mine. That's what I'm saying. I think Fab is rated right where he should be. He's not whack. He's definitely definitely a great lyricist, but I agree. You're yeah, I agree. still you're still in in my opinion, I would say Fab is still where he was when was the album called Street Dreams? I think Street Dreams was that it was Street Dreams? Was that the one so with the we had? That I have a question. Judged. Do you yeah. think? Do you feel that Fifty Cent is a better rapper than Fab? No, no. So okay. Do you think Fifty Cent was more hungry than Fab? Hell yes. yeah. Okay. Hungry that's, and that's I mean honestly, saying. can we keep it funky? Fifty Cent had one of the best. Um, come out Intros, albums. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, that, I'm not today, taking away like, from that. We need to keep it funky. Get, get Richard's Eye Trying was a start to finish the album. Like the shit was lit. Right. And who was See. doing that? And, but I just and 50 make, came out after all of these other people were saying. But I just want to make sure that like he, like he said, like, 50, I give 50 like all that he did or whatever, but he's not a better rapper. Right. Than See, that. but I mean, no. also when it comes to 50 Cent, right, because people are like, all right, you have people who will Throw 50's name in the hat compared to XYZ other artists. It's like this, right? Okay. Deontay Wilder is a fighter, not a boxer. Mayweather is a boxer, not a fighter. They are both in the same sport, right? 50 is a rapper, not a lyricist. Fab is a lyricist, not just a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I kind of feel the same way with Jay-Z and us. Right. 
I would put Nas as a lyricist Nas, like and Jay Z as a rapper. Lyrical, cool, but if you're really gonna like des- like definitely compare the two, I would say out of the two, because like honestly, again, There's Jay more and Nas a, yeah. are lyricists. They yeah, are they are. Both of them but, are, but I but think Nas is compare, a little more poetic, right. oh, a yeah. little more. Nas would be so, yeah. more of a lyricist than Jay Z. Jay would be. A rapper. They're both Compare, phenomenal. Okay, if you're so, comparing the two. so I have two more for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kendrick notes. and J. Cole. I would say J. Cole is the lyricist. Um, and Kendrick is the rapper, to be honest. I don't know. To I, me, yeah. kind of, yeah. to, for me, they're kind of neck and neck. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, yeah. And I, I would say neck and neck because did they just neck and neck. I, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I couldn't even say who's the more better lyricist. So who, who comes across better? To me, they, uh, they have the like, same type of... Yeah. Yeah, flow, like, not flow, no. literally, but I would no. how they're presenting same. their music and their right. lyrics to me is right. similar. So right. I couldn't even say who was who was well, better than that one. They both that. good. I like both of them. Yeah. Shout out to J Cole mm-hmm. and Kendrick. Shout out to both of them and shout out to Fab too. Fab. You're still um, in my top five, bro. Clay, who is your most slept on most slept on artist? My most slept on artist would be um, Beyonce. I feel like a lot of people give her credit for. Being <laughs> Are you right. fucking right. kidding me? <laughs> Yo, how is Beyonce slept on at all? Right, no, let him, let him how finish. is Beyonce let slept right, on? Let him at all? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. He's let the let only split. artist who successfully dropped the album not without not even saying nothing, sh- and that's just whatever. still. Let him explain. Let him explain. Wait, wait, let, give him a chance. No go ahead. Go. Go. Give him a moment. Let him explain. Go ahead. Like yeah, she gets credit for being a great performer. She gets credit for being a great artist that can drop an album a day. Like, we didn't even know about the shit, and she could just drop it, and we'd be like, oh, I'm going to purchase that because of Beyonce. What I'm saying is that she doesn't get the credit that is due from a specific artist that who would go see a Taylor Swift show and be like, oh, my God, this is the greatest show I've ever seen. And then look at Beyonce and be like, oh, wow, well, I mean, it's Beyonce. I expect her to do these certain things. And this is where I have a problem with it because it's like, why do black musician artists have to jump off of buildings and do a pirouette in the sky and sing perfectly pirouette. and do all of these stunts to please the audience and be named as the greatest musician in the world by an artist such as Taylor Swift. Can I ask you what audience are you talking about? Cool, but why does she get named as Billboard's woman in music or being this great musician when we have artists that are out here doing Ten times the work as her. Can I actually what audi- can I actually what audience you're talking about when you're referring to uh, Beyonce I mean, and Taylor Swift? That gives people Grammys. That gives people these positions in mean, music. The most as far as like Honestly, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. I think Beyonce. Can I, have to disagree I think as well. nobody of so this you, you of this just just hold on just hold on. Let me just say I'm just probably, saying this within this right. past generation. We're starting even just to be going from 2010. Nobody's fucking with Beyonce. She is Beyonce. Like Beyonce. Exactly. Beyonce. I mean, I mean and, this, and this is this is facts. This is what they all want to be. But this is but this is not true though. You guys are saying this. Are you even the nah, even not, Barack no. Obama? We're, we're not going by. Okay, we're like, not going no, by her getting snubbed her. from a few awards. Let's matter, just look at the awards that she has gotten within this. Say, it matters what the public says. The public the says that Beyonce is fucking lit. Not the public. We're a part of that. We're a part of that though. Listen. This is what we're looking at. Her, her due, but what listen, listen, mean? let me just say this. This is what I'm looking at, okay? I'm basing and this on. They're the only people who can sell tickets for like $400. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm basing this. People will buy that shit and sell out. That's nosebleed. So I'm basing this. Right. My thing is, we're basing this on the public. The public has spoken. They're buying $1,000 tickets to stand in the fucking rain at MetLife, in the fucking stadium there. They're standing in the rain to get the show. They're doing that. They're selling that shit out in a few hours. Blink, and that's that a football so stadium. This is not talking about Chick-fil-A or Popeye's on the fucking corner. That that they they're selling stadiums out. Right. Then we have she dropped the whole fucking album at midnight. Nobody knew about this no shit. Press. And the only way it got around is because people like, yo, that new did Beyonce. Did, did you, you hear, hear that? that? New Beyonce. That, you wake who? up. It, it was new everywhere. Number one immediately. Number it was one, everywhere. Mind you, like this go, like go to sleep right. all over looking at their phone. And they're like, yo, it's yeah. Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Bro, this sold out. Sold out. Because that's when hard copies are still out. This is the new. This is. This is the new age where everything is pretty much social media and this and the third. She promoted that album zero times. 
and it went how many times platinum? This is the Double public triple. speaking again. Right. It's also the public that look at her she, when she did her show at Coachella. What was that? The most viewed um, Coachella performance. And, and then on they top of that, it to Beachella? right? Beachella. They named it Beachella. And then on top of that, then you guys are not understanding. Nice. Nice. We not understand. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, well, I'm really not annoying to me because. She Beyonce has a whole relationship with Barack artists. Obama and Wait, Michelle. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Beyonce was one of the <laughs> first mad. black artists that actually did Coachella. If you guys did not know that, we did. We know. Why, yeah. why is that though? But why is Beyonce one of the Clay? First but black Clay, artists? you're that's missing not your the point. point. Yeah, no, we understand that. That's you're not you're the missing your old point. Because no, slept on. What? The, somebody right. Google the definition of slept on. Because that ain't Beyonce. No one is sleeping. Beyonce is not slept on. There's a lot of people that are sleeping on Beyonce. Who the hell is that? Right. That Clay, you can't no, make honestly, everybody like who the Beyonce. Hell is that? That's right, one. Right, right. Yeah, that's that's number one. Yeah. He's saying a certain like, fan base. He brought up Taylor Swift. She steals shit from other black artists. One of them being Beyonce. It's a lot of stealing. Yeah. Are you talking about her audience? No, I'm not. That doesn't recognize Beyonce or it doesn't give her... Her credit? Like, because I'm, she got it. She, she doesn't she actually have to prove no shit to anybody. Beyonce is all right. no, nobody's, nobody's saying not, that. No, I've never heard anybody nobody. say that. Anybody I know some people who don't like Beyonce, and that's them. Right. Exactly. But that's it. Other than that, One of the two. everybody else I know likes Beyonce. Right. Exactly. Like, I mean, she's lit. I, I can't. I can't. I can never put Beyonce as a slept on artist. Right. She's and a even household people who name. don't like her music me, still like what she do. Slept on to me is so artists that literally get no, get no shine. just do no shine, no nothing, and they're dope as fuck. Now, if that was Beyonce's case, even, then I would be like, okay, like, but that's not. Honestly, I guess not in my head in agreement to what you just said. Anyone who doesn't like Beyonce's music. Who don't like Beyonce's music? I mean, you're entitled like, not to like. You're entitled no, no, no. not to like who you I, don't want to no, like. Blah, blah, blah. I get that. I'm not bumping single ladies be- every day. No. <laughs> But no one's bumping anything every day, honestly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The point I'm making is, ain't nobody really that. out here saying, oh, I really can't fuck with Beyonce. Nobody's saying that. Nobody. Nobody's saying, oh, I mean, she can dance, but she can't sing. Anybody who Kerry says Hilton said that about Beyonce is trolling or straight up hating. That's it. So, so who's, your, who's your That's most slept on? That's what I'm saying. On? My most slept on? Big Crit. What you mean you ain't nasty? You think Why so? Why the fuck you came, bitch? You think I'm Big Crit was slept on? I'm sorry, but that's Big Crit. Shout out Big Crit. I don't Crit. think so. Sure. I think he definitely what gets... What you mean you ain't At least from like the real the rappers, I feel like he bitch? definitely gets his respect. Why the fuck you came, bitch? No, no, no. Why the fuck you came? Sorry. He has... I would say... Big Crit is... Wait, so would you say the same thing when it. he had his chance to <laughs> be that guy? He didn't take it? Big Crit? No. No. Think, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 saying no, 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 that was, no, no. Here's what Big Crit's <laughs> issue was, and even he then, when he finally looked in the mirror, he said, okay, that's where I fucked up. So he, he fucked up. up. Yeah, okay. he fucked up. But his issue was, okay, he felt like, okay, I'm hella dope, you know what I'm saying? I done, I done once again put my city on the map, or whatever the case may be, and I'm putting out quality music, but... I'm not getting the recognition that I deserve, right? What he fucked up on was being bitter and saying, how come they don't play my music in this region? How come I don't get booked in this region? Dog, every, whenever you go on tour, you sell out. You worry about how come you're not playing in the garden. That's First of all, everybody can't play at the everybody garden. Everybody can't play in the garden, and that wasn't Some people can't anyway. even play at the Barclays. You can't even play the theater. Let's you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, that I'm wasn't saying, your lane, theater? bro. So <laughs> that's where he fucked up, and he, and, and he admitted that. I will say this, though, and this is why I have my little issues with, like, the Power 105s and the Hot 97s, because, like, they didn't play no Crit records. They still don't. What you mean? You ain't nasty. Crit came up, did an interview um, with... Ebro Lit. and, and, and Rosenberg, whatever great. the case may be. And this was, you know, years ago or whatever. And, of course, like maybe for a week, they played some crit records. But we don't get crit up here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I like the fact that I stumbled on crit organically. Mm. Like, it wasn't a gimmick. Right. Yo, the first time I heard a big crit song or that I knew I heard a big crit song, I was washing dishes. MTV Jams was on. Word to everything. Yeah, where was MTV I? I don't remember where I was. I think yeah. I was in the car with my friend, but Yo. that song, What You Mean You Ain't Nasty, Yo. Why the Fuck You Came? The I was the like, Yes, Crit. Like, that's a bop. That's a it's bop. definitely a bop. 
Facts. It's a whole bop. <laughs> when you in the car and you hear that shit, first it's of all, bop. big crit music make you want to get up and like Facts. just bop. Like you bop Facts. and like, oh shit, what? Shit, what? Why the fuck you came, oh. crit? <laughs> shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the Vent was the very first song that I heard by crit. And it was a line in that song that caught my ear. And he said, I never seen stars in a red rug. If I want to see stars, then I look above. And I said, oh shit. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give this guy a listen. And his name, <laughs> his name kind of like turned me off or deterred me. I'm like, another Southern artist, another big this or little that. Mm-hmm. So, but it's that line made me done. listen to it. I, think I started listening to Crit on YouTube, this, that, and the third. Oh, then I, the Catalactic, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Motown to the sundial. Like, I, I fucks with Crit heavy. He slept on two me. Who you got, John? So we're just doing one? One. Mm-hmm. All right, so if I could do just one, we're going to take it off the rap for a minute. I'm going to go Shante Moore. I feel like Shante, Shante's got she a doesn't get the just at home. do that she deserves. Sis, still to this day, in 2019, legit sounds the same from when she first busted on the scene. Like, she, she still, and the thing I don't think she gets the just do, she don't get the just do with the whole, the whole um, what's it called, the whole whistle register thing. Because people think it's just like Minnie Ripperton and Mariah. That's it. People don't people don't know that Shantae still could to this day could bust out that thing and it's clear as day. I feel like she didn't really get her just due. She has so many like like quiet storm type hits, but like as as a whole, I feel like she didn't get her get get her just due. I so I would say Shantae. I could agree with Shantae. Yeah. I, um I think she's dope though. My person is definitely it's on sex songs. Also, I mean, sorry, singing. Um, music soul child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like Facts. music soul yes. child. He came out. He hit them hard with with the music album. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite music soul child song is half crazy, yeah. mm-hmm. and I feel like that was it. Like, and he puts out quality music, mm-hmm. and he has been consistently putting out quality music. But you're not running across that on the radio. Yeah. You know, so and it's just that. like, yeah, nobody want to hear that. And it's just like, I want to hear it. Right. <laughs> so, you know, like, what's I up? Mean. Like, I really think music has been truthfully slept the hell mm-hmm. on. Him, a lot of them, him and NDRE, I feel. Oh, like, it's just like, yo, what so. the fuck? Like, I fucks with them. Why Why are they not getting in? They're super duper talented. Mm-hmm. Super talented. My question to you all is, why do you think those artists are slept on? Why do I think they said? I think as far as music and India are concerned, I think it's the genre of music and how they carry themselves. They're not out here on no fuck shit, right. and they're not in they all of the drama. The they're here to make the music and go the fuck home and be positive. You know what I'm saying? The same reason, even, and she's popped, in my opinion, she's popped more than they have, but Erica Badu doesn't get, to me, as much as she should get as well. But that's also, even though Erica does show you her little ratchet side every now and again, but that's not what she presents to you in her music and things like that. You know, um, so, I, I think, like I think, straight classics I there. think, right. And I think artists like, like that, who are not mostly mainstream and they're not really doing things for them. They're coming out fully clothed. They're coming out with, with sweatsuits on right, or, or like, or like in Erica and in India's same. concern. I know they both used to wear head wraps. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of um, garments around them, covering them. They never really came out showing, it, it not overly sexual. They even even they now when them, they sung to you, they let the music. Speak. It might sound, but it was the music speaking. The music, right? You know. So, do you think somewhere along the line that black musicians, as far as like us being celebrated, and as far as like an artist, do you think somewhere along the line we lost the way as far as like music as being expressive? We lost that. Music has lost the way because of what's been what's what's being um, applauded. That's why it's lost its way because it's still quality people being put out. But if we only have two, we only got two hers. We only got two LMAs. We only got so and so. It's definitely watered down. We're getting we're getting drowned out by this knickknack shit. Two LMAs. No, no, I'm saying like like as far as like it's four. LMA, her, you know what I'm saying? Like, LMA's like that. album, I wasn't really so too fond of. So, so, but so. LMA is still quality music, it's though. Some, but I feel like it could have been a lot better, better. quality. It could, it could be her better. But it her independent stuff. Was right. Right. No, very no, good. no, but what I'm saying, as far as she's not talking about 
full ratchetness. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, some of her but songs is kind of... No, but, but that's but some the of in-between them. songs where she's talking. I'm talking about how she's coming across. I feel like, 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 like she's to make more of those songs. Especially yeah. with um, Boot Up being like Yeah, but how big she's single. coming across is not coming across like that. Like, she's giving me a more chilled vibe with just... Let the music speak. Yeah, like, like I, I look at her as the whole package. Like she's not out here overly sexual. She comes out in like sweatsuits. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like to me, it's a package. Mm-hmm. But this leads me to my conversation: mm-hmm. Are black people actually out there supporting black musicians? Absolutely. But when so the majority at, is whole, no. four of majority. us can't, four of us can't yeah. be the yeah, majority. Yeah, right, right. But what I'm saying, you look at a package artist, you see that they're they're not ratchet, like you said. They're not out there talking about specific things that you, they're not talking about sex, drugs, whatever. They're they're talking about positive things. Why is that looked at in such a negative thing? Why is that such a negative thing in black music? But but it's not. But no, it's. But no, it's. But no, it's. No, it's not. You're not at the table. It's not a, um, it's not viewed negatively. It goes back to what. It goes back to what we're saying, where the majority rules. Right. It could be 15 of us that like Erica Badu and want to hear Erica Badu, but if the majority wants to hear right. ass-shaking music or whatever, this is what's going to be played on the radio. It has nothing to do with what we actually like and what we don't like. It's what the majority wants to hear. Popular and if the majority song. calling in, they requesting, oh, I want to hear so-and-so. If they want to hear... Um, like a Summer Walker versus hearing an Indie RE. Indie RE is not going to get played. They're going to play so-and-so. And that's just the way it is. has nothing to do with who's better and who's not. Because if we keep it funky, a lot of these new artists are not as good as the older artists that but, came before them. my question is, why is that such a problem in black music? Why is that such a problem where we have to compare such-and-such such doing things to such-and-such who have nothing to do with each other, yet they're on the same pedestal. Whereas, as far as pop music and a lot of these white white artists can be allowed to do the same thing, get the same airplay, get the same recognition, get the same accolades. Because white people control everything. Exactly, which makes no sense to me. Because it's, these black artists are putting their heart out there, and putting their heart into their music, and yet we are telling them that Damn, you have to it. be prepared. You have to be this person, you have to be that person. You have to be this person for me to purchase your music, which is so stupid to me. Because, unfortunately, That's just... artists are getting signed and they're getting a financial advance up front. They come to the bargain show. They say, mm-hmm. this is this is the type of image that I want, like, your like, unfortunately, granted, you, 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 you go into their, into their offices as a human, right? But once you're in there and they invest in you, you are now a product. And then they say, I want to present my product in this fashion to the general public. That may go against you, so respect your morals, whatever the case may be, or who you genuinely are as a person, right? But for that bag, some, I can't even say some, most are going to shuck and drive, do the song and dance. Absolutely. For that bag. Get that coin. Bread. Now we, now we the bread is the most important at this point. You know what I'm saying? You knew better than that. But they saying, I got to pay my bills. My kids got to Can you I've, pay I've, my I've, bills? I've, I've, I've pay now, my telephone I've bills. Pay my stuff, automobile. Right? So they went from Ashley Crass and 2.5. They going to shut them jobs. Like, that's, that's the unfortunate side of it that a lot of us don't see or comprehend. Um, um, comprehend. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, when's the last time, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I never even, gave even, my... Even on, like, grown folk radio. Like, I'm listening to Steve Harvey. I, I haven't heard of Erica Badu song on grown folk radio in a minute. Exactly. You feel me? So it's like... Even, but she's praised a lot. No, no, no. She, they, right, right, but, yeah. I, but you're right. I haven't heard, like, a song but, from her in a, in a minute. Right. Oh, on the radio but or the anywhere, for that is, matter. Granted, she, like, listen, she's definitely queen. She gets dog. praised, but even on soulful grown folk radio, Erica gets no spins. Even her throwback records, mm-hmm. you feel me? So, Tyra. like grown folk, like word to everything, grown folk radio I mean, is playing T-shirts in my veins. Right? 
Right. Worth everything. Bust the pussy up. Bust the pussy up. <laughs> so can I give my artist? <laughs> can I give my artist? Shit. Not ratchet, but sexualized music. You feel me? So you got the hip hop stations who don't like the game. Common is a hip hop artist. Oh, there like, you go. Bring it on play Common. There's one artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, quality. there's quality artists out here. They just don't get play. pushed yeah. the mainstream. Pretty by much. Because it's not. It. it ain't pop. So who you, who you got, Dom? I got Wale. Um, Wale is His album, The Gift. Yes, he is. Wale is I don't know if Oh, he's supposed to be yeah. where J. honestly I, I can agree i think wale fumbled fumbled his um i i i love wale though i do right, I absolutely him. he's i like his lyrics and his flow exactly it's gonna stay up he actually sounds like that too that's crazy right. yeah but, uh, <laughs> no, he does. He does. While he sounds, while he does, he got a The Gifted a was a very it. solid album. I don't know if you guys. The, la- I like the latest Wale. one. Shout out to Wale. The Gifted. Oh, the one, the, the one that my came favorite out. Favorite Wale. Yeah, First yeah, of all, that, that song. That might have been his best Wale album. and Megan Thee Stallion is lit. Oh yeah, that's so old. So shake your tail feather. Yeah. No, uh, exactly. Pole dancer. Pole dancer. That's yeah. what it's called. Pole dancer. Pole dancer. Check that out, Wale and. Megan Thee Stallion, Pole yeah. Dancer. That's the song. Super lit. That's the actually first time I heard Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck <laughs> is that? Mm-hmm. Shout out to I Megan Thee Stallion. She, the first you put song her on was up, Freak like, Nasty, I think. Let me go. For her. Mm-hmm. Freak. Who? Freak. Freak. Okay, what was your... Oh, right. All right. So, I was just sent this picture, <laughs> so... Round it up. Round it up. All right. So, I just... Oh, yeah. So, I just got sent this picture, so I want to ask y'all, y'all... <laughs> <laughs> Who gotta go? Yeah, so it says no. one. It's a picture. It says one of these have to go in all of their songs. Like and all of their songs. Yeah, okay. it's out of Mary J, Aaliyah, Monica, Brandy, Beyonce, or Rihanna. This might Rihanna's be gotta go. No, who, who gotta go? Rihanna's Rihanna gotta go. Gotta go. I mean, that's a fact. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like Ree. Shout out to Ree. Shout out to Robin. Right. Shout Robin out to Rihanna. Rihanna. But, uh, I think I'm at the. You it's can a go. No-brainer for me. You can go. Sis. I think I'm gonna pick Monica. Don't disrespect Gunica. Can you get the come fuck come out? To... I have to pick Monica. Yes. For me, I have to pick Monica. For me, Rihanna has to go just because all the other ladies have classic. have produced classic Class. albums. Classic, this is classic, classic material classic here. Songs that you could drop right now. Drop and, it right and, now. And, and everybody I can love you, there. man. Exactly. No I mean, age, classic. We'll know the record. First of all, Mary shouldn't even have been in that shit. Oh, yeah. Mary that's that's number that. one. Beyonce she's shouldn't be on that. Mary, and be definitely not Brandy neither. Brandy, Brandy catalog. Brandy. But that's what I said. I said Brandy shouldn't be on that. I'm trying to act like, what the fuck is really going on here? I mean, I guess you could narrow it down to Monica and... Rihanna, but I, I'm, I'm picking gotta go. Rihanna. Gotta, gotta go. go. I'd be There's fine without. I'd Take care of yourself. I'd be fine. Damn. Damn. Listen, I, All right. Put on the coat. It's cold. After, after further review, I'm tired of me. Baby, it's cold I'm outside. Like Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna. Because yeah. I, 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 I only know like two songs of Monica. You just because of you, you sir. You need to sit. You need to. But that's why I'm picking. That's why. Right. That's why. That's why. That's my opinion. I only know two. Two. Maybe two, maybe three. I'm lying. Teaching. It's oh, really two. <laughs> and I know Monica. more Monica Rihanna songs hits. than her. But those songs, those hits. hits, when did they come out? Uh, I don't know. I can tell you. Who, Monica's? They didn't come out recently. They didn't come out in the O's. But First you know of, of them. But that. But I but haven't heard anything recent from either. From Monica? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to know anything recent. I mean, honestly, I mean, she's done Mary's still good. putting out shit. I think Monica. Everybody else is still not? putting out shit. Brandy's so it's kind of like. Brandy did put. Brandy, 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 Brandy out. put out shit. But Brandy, but Brandy has a good discography. First so of all, Brandy, Brandy, first of all, Brandy Monica, and, and like Mary said, J. Like two. Man, they really shouldn't just, even have been in this. I could. I could. Right. I could not be I'd be fine without hearing another, like another Monica song. Nah, I mean, has, I can I can understand. I can what you're understand saying. Why you're saying that. But I'm she's still cool. gonna go with Rihanna on but this Monica one. I'm sorry, Rihanna. Has, she's cool. To, Some of her albums. Monica has like two hits. I won't be affected if Fire. Rihanna's gone. That's yeah, I wouldn't be. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be. When it comes down to like, if you never heard this artist, I'd be fine again, without right? hearing another Monica song. Would I, you be okay? I'd be fine. And honestly, I would be. I would fine be okay. If I just heard Mary, Brandy, Monica, 
Who was the other one? Aaliyah and Beyonce. Aaliyah and Beyonce. Beyonce. What Beyonce? How the fuck was Beyonce? I, you can't. You can't like, eliminate. Damn, like this. Come like, on, man. Just, she's the Mike Jack of like, <laughs> Honestly, to be funky, Beyonce is the Michael Jackson of this. Oh yeah, I, the female. She's like the female Michael. Like Jackson. this is not even debatable. Like uh, this is not deba- debatable. Clay, what is your? Uh, Who'd you have? Your choice. What? The disrespect. Michael can go. <laughs> the disrespect. I should make a move, but I won't. <laughs> All right, it so is wrong. All right. Yeah, she can go. Wrap it up. Yeah. So I think that that's yeah, about it. <laughs> All right. I think we should close this out with our best. Well, that was artist. our music. Our best advice. This our best our new artist. Our best new artist. All right, my my best new artist for you to check out. I'm I'm kind of feeling um, I like uh, Daniel Caesar. I like mm. him. He's kind of on the fence oh. after that shit oh, that like he him. did. Yeah. What was his comments about black? Yeah. We, gotta wrap that about black up. we cannot he, talk. He we gotta fuck. wrap it yeah. up. He, he wild the fuck out. We have. <laughs> we have five minutes, y'all. Five minutes. His music, though. His music. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if that if that's what he said, yeah, he could take an L on that. But musically, I, I fucks with Daniel Caesar. I like Daniel Caesar. Um, I'm gonna say his name is Gallant. I fucks should. with him. Okay. Should check that man. I out. fucks with him. He's yeah, good. shout out to him. He kind of reminds me of Khalid making, a little bit. And, and I feel like he's more, more like he, he's, he's making like right. He's making like baby making music that Shout you don't really hear music. anymore. Like so yeah. Yes. He's yeah. super. I never knew how to rumor is what I've been calling him. It's all Lamar, no? It is, but I've been saying All Lamar. All Lamar, no, that's his name. All Lamar. All Lamar. Who you got? Y'all know I don't listen to this stuff today, so we just gonna right, so skip, skip over. Right, we sleep. Her. Yeah. Her. her. I fucks with her. Okay. Fucks with her. Another like artist her. that I stumbled on organically. I mm-hmm. like her. Fucks with her. Ro James is dope too. Mm. He hasn't dropped nothing since that. Um, yeah, that Green Light. He yeah, nah. He yeah. got the permission song permission. and he got Burn oh, Slow and he got about. Burn yeah, Slow. Yeah, but didn't both of them come out around the same time? Nah, he got Burn Slow. Permission, but, mm, permission, what? and he got a um, real smooth. He got a smooth oh, song that's out. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clay. Who well, you got, Clay? The um, fuck? That I'm really actually interested in. Um, Chloe X Holly. And oh yeah. You know, my name. Yeah, I like yeah. Chloe and Holly. They have beautiful beautiful voices. Uh, Normani. 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 Shout out to Normani. And I'm going to say The Baby. Facts. The Clay. Baby. Shout Facts. out to Boy. Baby. <laughs> baby Bobby still got the. Boy. Yeah, I like Baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's my shit. Hits after hits. Nah, the whole album. The whole album is I lit. feel like even baby like his baby. personality. Yeah, I hope the, I yeah. hope Boy goes far as fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. I hope he's Something. one of the, like, the top. Shout out I think he's just a real everything. stand up. Like, I think did he's you see the video? Really authentic did you see about the video him? of him today with the with, with the, the fan? With fan? I did see. I did see. He jumped on. Like, I thought that was dope. Like, yeah, I did see it. I think something's very authentic about the baby. Yeah, and that's kind of refreshing because. We used to just seeing people dub people, and I feel like, like he, do like he don't walk around like, trying to act hard. Like he just right. chilling. Baby life. don't have to act hard because He'll y'all know what the it. fuck right. the baby's about. Like baby done told y'all he not the motherfucking one. Right, right. but he, he don't walk y'all. around like, like he, he don't walk around him. like they he be walk trying around him. Humble. You understand? <laughs> like yeah. they be trying him. Like I feel like he walks around humble, just chilling, yeah. living life. He, I, I agree. He walks around but humble, it, right? But he done I, told y'all stop yeah. fucking playing yeah. with him. At the end of everything, I hope he ends up on top. Yeah. Like, yeah, I do hope the baby goes mad. far. Yeah. But I think he so will. I think I, honestly, I can see baby doing like movies and shit because he's super, yeah. super um, animated yeah. and, creative. and creative. And he yeah. kind of reminds me like with his videos and stuff, like a Missy Elliott. Yeah, that's kind of he puts box into his videos and yeah. puts a little. Shout out to fucking Missy Elliott because she right. don't get her checks to neither. And that was an. Oh, we should have said that. I mean. Yeah, I shit. mean, shout out to Missy Elliott yeah. because yes, yes, Lord, yes. shout out to Missy Elliott. A lot of your favorite but, um, songs, she, she was behind. Missy Elliott, by right. Missy Elliott. Well, to wrap up this video, Definitely. this was a good special. Uh, and shout out to the music. Tune special, in uh, always. Like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. all that good stuff. All yeah, that good so stuff. Welcome to the Petty House. <laughs> At the Petty House. Ow. <laughs> Petty House. Bye. Out.